how are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine welcome back to my channel thank you so much for returning back here if you are a returning subscriber may god bless you but if you're new here it's your first time here in my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you will always enjoy every content that i upload in this channel so dear friends in our today's video we are going to be having a story time of a Ugandan lady by the name of Hope, a single mother of two who found love on online dating apps after one year of searching. Everything went very well after Hope finding love. Things turned out differently than how Hope imagined. So to know what happened to Hope, please watch this story till the end these are kind of the stories that really shines your eyes as someone who is on online dating apps searching for love searching for the one and to add on that guys i've been getting questions on instagram at african bella even here on youtube in the comment section so i give you just an example of what i have been encountering or some of the questions that you have been asking me and i had wanted to do a video on it thank god this story came so that we can have a vivid example of what i had wanted to tell you guys so you find that you are helping a lady or on Instagram and she's telling you Bella I'm chatting with this guy he's so good he is from Sweden but works in Germany <laughs> So Bella, what do you advise me? Normally when I get a question like that, I always ask you loads of questions. Because <laughs> this guy is from a different country and working in another country. So if you have been wondering, if you come across a guy who is from, let's say, Mexico, but lives in America, or you are chatting with a guy, he is from Brazil, but maybe works in Canada, lives in Canada, or you are chatting with a guy he is from Zimbabwe Nigeria Zambia but lives in Australia <laughs> and is looking for love and seems like a very genuine guy what are the things you really need to be careful about so that you don't find yourself in the hands of the wrong guy so that you don't find yourself just wasting your time so by watching this video you will get answers for that through this ugandan lady's story hope but dear sisters before i start this story what i'm about to tell you is totally off <laughs> today's story but it is something very very different you ladies that are out there searching for love or right now you are in a relationship chatting with a white man chatting with any man of any color that man seems serious you haven't seen any red flags he loves you very very much please don't make him run if you are here watching my videos i don't want my daughters <laughs> to make mistakes or be making men run away because the information that i give you guys is enough to keep your man i'm here to insist please keep your man please be appreciative please be a good woman ladies who are still searching you know how the struggle is the struggle is real to find a genuine guy a guy who will love you unconditionally so if you find that guy please don't take him for granted and be like ah he loves me you know i can treat him anyhow that i want <laughs> one thing you guys need to know is that most of these white guys their ego is higher <laughs> it's there in the clouds so be very careful even the way you behave the way you react about things i told you please study a guy you are dating once you know how he is once you know his situation he opens up to you and tells you his situation please try to understand him because you understanding him makes things 
easier. Maybe this guy was in a very toxic relationship whereby he couldn't even talk, you know? <laughs> Whenever he could raise his voice, the lady never wanted to listen to him. So right now he's looking for a lady. When he talks, you listen and solve whatever challenge comes your way together as one, <laughs> as a strong couple. But if you start taking him for granted, when he talks, you don't want to listen. He'll be like, this is the same, same things that I was in. Now I want to change. So he's going to leave you no matter how much he told you that he loves you very, very much. These white guys, especially guys, when they are tired, when they say it's over, most of them, it is really over. It is almost impossible to turn back and be like, I'm coming back to you. Let's get back together. So if you have him, please keep him. Don't let him go. It really hurts me very, very much to see a couple that has invested a lot, made lots of sacrifices, for a very long period of time and in the end you as a lady my sister you make that man run away by taking him for granted guys i don't want to talk a lot but i thought i should tell you this so that you don't make mistakes of making these men run away because if he runs away then you are back to square one to online dating apps you know to the struggle <laughs> out there exist lots of ladies the competition is very very high so if you treat him bad of course <laughs> it won't be a problem to find another genuine beautiful serious woman so please let's be wise and without wasting much of your time let us jump into today's story Guys, I want to let you listen to her <laughs> so that you get to know where this story came from. And some people, when I come with a story like this, be like, oh, maybe Bella is trying to make up stories. <laughs> this is the real story. So you're going to hear her voice. If you're Ugandan, you will know this lady is Ugandan just by her accent. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Bella. Uh, my name is Hope. I am a Ugandan. Um, I really want to thank you for opening up that YouTube channel. It has really done me well. How I wish I got to know about this channel some time back. I wouldn't have made a mistake. But um, we always learn from our mistakes. So I would like to, to share my experience. And then uh, maybe it could be of help to others. So friends, we are going to be starting her story with a little bit of her life background. So Hope tells us was born and raised in Uganda. She is from a polygamous family. So her dad had lots of wives with lots of kids. Tells us life wasn't easy at all and money was so little. So she started till form four or senior four in Uganda. That's how you call it. After finishing form four, couldn't go for further studies because there was no money. It wasn't possible for her father to keep paying for her school fees. So she dropped out from school and started staying at home after finishing senior form. So at that time when Hope was just home, not doing anything, you know, after finishing her senior four, met this Ugandan guy. The guy was really, really cute and he was her schoolmate was three years older than her so they fell in love love was in the air and they started dating so as they were dating you know guys <laughs> she shared her goodies <laughs> and after sharing her goodies time went and eventually came to find out that conceived was pregnant <laughs> yeah took care of her pregnancy but everything continued their relationship was just okay the pregnancy came to an end and she had a very cute baby boy so after having her first 
child things started changing with the guy the guy started treating her bad started telling her i'm not okay to be with a lady who is not that well educated and also the guy's family was so against their relationship because hope was not all that well educated plus was from a very poor family compared to the guy so there was tension going on but you know as black african women we can tolerate a lot so she kept on enduring that situation and the relationship continued though it was not perfect so guys as the relationship continued of course the guy kept on taking the goodies <laughs> she is not well educated but still he takes the goodies and that's when hope conceived again her second child so after being pregnant for her second child the guy told her no hope i don't want this baby you have to abort hope said no i'm not going to abort i'll keep my child because hope was so scared to die while aborting that child so that's why she was like no i'm gonna keep my baby i don't care what you tell me so the guy was like if you're going to keep that baby then that's the end of our relationship so they ended the relationship the guy kept on with his life hope remained alone as a single mother of two so friends what i can tell you is that hope is such a strong woman after listening to her whole story i was like this lady is really strong so when that guy left her as a single mother of two hope was like no i have to fight for my children and take care of them Hope decided to look for a job and God is good. She found a job, started working, took care of her kids. They grew up. So when the kids grew up, she started feeling so lonely, alone at home, you know, missing a man on her side. And I can feel her guys. If you are a single woman out there watching this story, you can relate how loneliness can hit you so badly <laughs> yeah i can still remember too i wasn't a single mother but there was a time i was really really lonely especially during the weekends <laughs> When the weekend comes and you start, you know, imagining if he was here, we could have gone to the beach, we could have gone there, we could have just, you know, chilled at home and watched TV, cuddle. <laughs> so you start feeling that loneliness so strongly. I can relate, guys. So Hope started feeling very, very lonely and was like right now my kids have grown i am ready to fall in love so when she was feeling very lonely tried to date some ugandan guys but most of them were like i can marry you as a second wife i can marry you as a third wife you know polygamous family i talked about this when i did a video about east african men i talked of ugandan men marrying lots of wives you know they are so into polygamous marriage so most guys that dated hope after the father of her kids wanted to marry her as a second wife as the third wife he said no i cannot be the second wife i cannot be the third wife i want to be the first wife and the last wife <laughs> yeah so what she decided to do decided to start looking for love where on online dating apps but before we go to her online dating story i want to give you an advice if you are a single lady watching this yes loneliness can hit you so badly but don't let loneliness push you to be desperate don't make loneliness make you do wrong choices better stay single lonely but at peace than you letting desperacy push you into the hands of the wrong guy you are going to regret for the rest of your life so yes loneliness is bad but at the same time no search carefully <laughs> yes and if you're going to get married make sure it's the right choice all boxes tick 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 you have confirmed so let's go back 
to her online dating experience. Hope decided to join online dating apps in 2019 at 37 years old. So when she searched on Google about free online dating apps to try, landed on CDFF, which is a Christian dating app for free and Afro introductions. What Hope did decided to set her profile on CDFF and Afro introductions. So Hope joining online dating apps her plan, her original plan was to find a white guy. So started searching and got lots of guys chatting with her, but most of them were players. Most of them were asking her for nude photos. So nothing serious was coming out. Searched and searched for that one good year. So after one year passed, she was like, you know what? I think I am not lucky, you know, to find a white guy. Why can't I settle in Uganda? Because on CDFF, there were three Ugandan guys that were showing interest towards her. And one of those guys was Ugandan but living in South Africa. So she told herself, let me give this guy a chance and see how it goes. Let me settle in Uganda with a fellow Ugandan and live alone that original plan of finding a white guy. So they started chatting on CDFF and after that he asked for her WhatsApp number which she later on gave and moved to WhatsApp, started chatting on WhatsApp every single day, making video calls. And after some time, this guy was like, I want you to introduce me to your parents. Hope accepted and introduced him to the parents, but on his side, never introduced her to his parents, but introduced her to his two sisters, on the phone so they kept on with their relationship everything going super good and then this guy was like hope i want to marry you so i would like to ask a hand in marriage hope was like you know our traditions <laughs> you are a ugandan so you need to come here and we do an introduction ceremony but this guy was like no due to work i cannot travel come to uganda and do that introduction ceremony for now i think we can do this online so guys hope wasn't happy about that idea of doing an online formal introduction to the parents but again was like it's okay because she was in love with a guy <laughs> one thing i've been singing and singing and i see you guys keep doing same same mistake is falling in love with these men that you chat to on online dating apps before you see actions please confirm everything that the guy tells you see the actions and then you can fall in love this will help you to protect your precious heart you know to be broken okay so let's continue <laughs> with the story hope accepted and this ugandan guy sent money from south africa to hope so that she can give that money to the uncles and the parents act as a gift to ask for a hand in marriage so after the money arrived they did as they agreed on <laughs> and the uncles accepted gave them the blessings to get married so now that everything was okay the uncles have accepted it was time to start organizing the wedding so they started planning then 2020 came covid happened after covid happening this guy disappeared completely on hope so guys let's again pause here i want to give you another advice this is something i've been observing a lot you are dating a guy don't let that guy control everything control that relationship because the problem with us black african women is that back home how we are taught <laughs> we are taught to respect men you shouldn't raise your voice you know 
<laughs> when your man is talking <laughs> which is good yes you shouldn't be aggressive but don't let that guy control that relationship that relationship it's not that that guy is alone in that relationship of course no you are together in that relationship so if you have to make decisions you have to make them together <laughs> So for us black African women, especially when we fall in love with a guy, a guy tells you, I love you. You just, you know, relax. You get blinded. Everything this guy says, it's yes, 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 yes. As long as he loves me, everything is going to go fine. You forget to watch out the red flags. You forget to ask very important questions to that guy <laughs> so you is out there you are dating a guy please take things too into hand i'm not telling you to be aggressive towards the men you are dating no i'm not telling you to raise your voice for no reason but <laughs> if raising your voice is needed in some cases, of course, you raise your voice too <laughs> to show him that I can stand on my grounds. I'm begging you, dear sisters, stop letting these men take a full control of your relationship. You need to have a say in that relationship because if things go bad, it's going to affect you too. It doesn't affect only a guy. It will also affect you. And if you close your eyes, let the guy lead everything. When you get married, it becomes very difficult for you to start talking, for you to start giving your opinion. Of course, you let him, when you are dating, do everything, lead the relationship. How comes you want to change? It will be impossible to change. Stop putting yourself in complications situations that is going to ruin your life in the future this is very very important dear sisters respect should be there you can't just shout on a guy like i told you when i started this video you have to make sure you keep that man <laughs> okay but if you see something is not right you need to confirm you have to tell that guy hey i need to confirm this don't be like oh my god if i ask he's gonna get angry oh my god if i ask he's gonna run away and bella told us to keep the guy <laughs> we don't keep him that way <laughs> In Swahili, someone could tell you, Usiji kandamize. <laughs> Don't press yourself down. <laughs> Raise up. <laughs> so let's continue, guys. So, guys, when this guy ghosted her during that COVID period, when it had started in 2020, Hope was there wondering what happened to this guy. Why did he disappear? But deep inside her heart, was crazily in love with him and kept on waiting for his return. Did I tell you guys, if a man ghosts you, it's not a good sign? I think I did. So let's continue to know what happened and you will confirm that it's true. When a man ghosts you, it's not a good sign because if a guy is serious with you wants to create a very you know strong relationship with you that will last forever he's gonna be there every single day even if you don't talk on the phone you'll be sending each other messages and when he's free he can make a video call but a guy disappearing without telling you anything it's not that you guys fought nothing he just goes quiet we have a serious problem. So Hope kept on waiting for this Ugandan guy who was based in South Africa. And yes, in 2020 August, this guy returned. After returning, Hope was like, how comes you disappeared? The guy was like, ah, you know, due to COVID, lots of problems happened. That's why I disappeared. And here I have another advice. I told you, I think in the recent story that I did of Miriam, if you're dating a guy online, it's a long distance relationship. And maybe something happens to this guy in his life 
maybe there is a challenge that came into his life you know problems are for everyone problems are always there they come they go <laughs> that's life so something maybe happens in this guy's life you know and it really disturbs his mind or he loses someone that he really loves this guy will never disappear from you completely just because of the challenges or just because he lost someone no if he loves you he will want to talk to you because talking to you will give him like a relief he will keep on talking to you i'm not saying he'll be calling and you know laughing being in that you know <laughs> happy mood no <laughs> Of course, he'll be looking for some comfort from the person that he dearly loves at that hard period. But if you're dating a guy and then he disappears, then when you ask, he's like, you know, because I lost, let's say, my aunt, I lost a sister, so I don't feel like talking to anyone. That's why I disappeared. And maybe this guy disappeared for one month. Guys, I understand, you know, we are different on how we are like human beings. Some people, when something happens, they get a shock. They don't feel like, you know, talking to anyone. But that doesn't go for the whole month. <laughs> it can be like two or three days because, again, life has to continue. You have someone there waiting to hear from you and then you keep quiet. What's that? So when you come across a situation where a guy is telling you, I was sick, I decided not to talk to you so that I cannot worry you, or I lost my dear one, I never wanted to talk to anyone, that is why I disappeared, you just know that that guy is going to return, but again, he will ghost you. <laughs> Mark my words. <laughs> so when it happens, Stay on that alert mode and my advice, keep searching. Because <laughs> if you be like, oh, he came back, everything is okay, my boyfriend. <laughs> and you don't keep on searching, he will disappear again. You will keep on waiting and waiting and wasting your precious time. But yeah, when this guy returned, Hope welcomed him with open arms because she was totally in love with him. They started talking, you know, lovey-dovey and the plans for the wedding resumed. <laughs> <laughs> so friends, I'm talking to you who is watching this video. If you were hope, were you going to welcome this guy with open arms after ghosting you <laughs> and keep on with the plans of getting married to him or not? I would like to read your response down there in the comment section. But with hope, she accepted guys to keep on with the plans of getting married and tells us was 37 years old and the guy was 47 so for her he was a mature guy and she thought if a guy is mature of that age will be a serious guy will be a guy who knows how to treat a woman will be a guy who is ready to settle down and start a family so trusted a guy very very much that is why she left everything into the hands of that guy but her advice here guys before even you know what happened to her <laughs> after tells you don't be deceived by a guy's age a guy can be old and yet immature a guy can be old but irresponsible a guy can be old but very very aggressive and toxic i have been telling you this i even did a video i told you you know the signs or the qualities of a good man I never talked about the number, I talked of a mature man, mature of the mind, because that is very, very important. So even from hope, we can see he's telling you guys, be careful, just observe a guy's character, not his age. Oh. <laughs> so let's go and find out what happened. How did their plans of getting married go? So dear friends, their plans to get married continued and Hope told the guy, now that we want to get married, I think 
it is you to come to Uganda so that we can get married here. But the guy was like, no, I cannot come to Uganda. I've got lots of work to do here. So I want you to be the one to come to South Africa. We get married. And then after getting married, you know, we will return back to Uganda, do everything that we did not do. The introduction ceremony, do another wedding with our families. Guys, you should remember or keep it in mind that Hope is a single mother of two, but due to love accepted to leave her kids, go to South Africa and start her family there with the husband. So yes, cause Hope was old enough to make her own decision, started the visa process, go to South Africa and applied for a tourist visa. Luckily got the visa 90 days to stay in South Africa. So with this, I asked Hope, did this guy send you his documents? Like, you know, to invite you. She was like, he did not send me any documents. I did everything on my own. And it wasn't the first time of me going in South Africa. I had gone to South Africa in the past in 2016, but it wasn't about him. So getting a visa was easy for me. So he was never involved in her visa application to go to South Africa. But remember, she was going to South Africa for what? To get married to him. So I think here you can remember what I have been telling you. If you're dating a guy, he invites you in his country, he should be involved. When you see a guy not wanting to, you know, get involved in your visa application, telling you to pay everything, telling you I won't send you any documents, there is fire. <laughs> Don't step on it. <laughs> Meaning, do not pay for anything. Go visit a guy in his country. No, he has to show you efforts, serious efforts that he really wants you and he is involved in your visa application. Remember, guys, you are not in that relationship alone. You are together. <laughs> So she went to South Africa and in their chats, guys, they had agreed on to wait till marriage. <laughs> so Hope wasn't ready to share her goodies till marriage. <laughs> decided to wait so when she arrived in South Africa the guy came at the airport to pick her all was good but Hope couldn't go at this guy's house cause going at his house was like putting herself or putting themselves into temptations <laughs> that they were not ready to fall into so what was the plan the plan was Hope to go and stay at the pastor's house until the wedding day. So guys, Hope traveled to South Africa end February 2021 and the wedding was done in early March 2021. So the wedding day came, all was super good, they enjoyed. Remember, that wedding was attended by only church members. <laughs> no one from his family and no one from her family. But was happy because they are in love and was starting a new chapter with a man that truly loved her. But guys, wait for Afro cinema. <laughs> it's about to start. So guys, after the wedding, Hope was waiting for the guy to take her to his house, you know? It's time for the goodies. <laughs> to enjoy the goodies. But that never happened. This guy never took her to his house. And the reason is the guy never had any house. The guy was living at the church premises. Yeah, they had given him a place to stay. Can you imagine, guys? So that is where he took Hope. And that is where they spent their first night together, enjoying the goodies. <laughs> so Hope was really, really surprised that the guy never told her anything, that he is living at the church, he doesn't have a house of his own. But that's not all, guys. 
the shock continues. That guy was in South Africa, yes, but his visa had expired long time ago, so he was seeking for an asylum. So it's just a guy who is just living like that, being helped by the church whereby hope thought that that guy was in south africa everything was good has his own place not living at the church or depending on the church no so she thought of living an independent life a happy marriage life with the husband so after hope discovering that was really really sad very disappointed very frustrated because remember left her two kids back in uganda so her being in south africa <laughs> thought the husband was going to help her find a job and also start taking care of her kids back in uganda but that did not happen because the guy never had even a stable job he was just doing these small small jobs and even the money he could earn hope never saw that money at all and to make matters worse hope came to find out that got pregnant the night of their wedding so after finding out was pregnant, she was really, really frustrated because you find yourself in a situation whereby a man that you married to is just living like that with no plans. That means you're bringing a kid into the world whereby the father has no plans. You are in a foreign country. Tells us she started getting sick cause was so, so depressed and one time started bleeding told the husband but the husband was like i don't have money to take you to the hospital so she just stayed at home then winter came you know in south africa there is winter so when winter came it was so difficult for her who didn't have even winter clothes life was really really hard for her so dear friends i had to pause and advise you about this i've been seeing you guys like i told you you told me i'm chatting with a guy he is from poland but works in austria so if you're chatting with a guy he is from poland works in austria you are chatting with a guy he is from mexico but lives in america he is from brazil but lives in canada before you go further you need to understand his stay there does that guy has a permanent resident permit or a green card or a citizenship of that country is it legally or illegally it is important for you to find out and i told you if you want to know something from these guys you're chatting to on online dating apps you will know just the way you will be asking this guy if you come very aggressive the guy is gonna lie to you but if you ask him in a very tricky way he's gonna fall into your trap so apart from knowing how is he living in that country you need to know how well established he is in that country is he someone that has settled down already or he is someone that is still trying you know to hustle for life and settle down in that country if he is still hustling trying to figure out <laughs> his future then if you're chatting with a guy like that I'm going to advise you to stop wasting your time because that guy needs lots of time before he settles down. And plus guys, if a man is still trying to figure out his life in a new country, in a foreign country, most of the times you find they don't have their own apartments or houses. So you find they are living with lots of friends or in hostels. So ask yourself, a guy like that, Will he be able to invite you in that country? And if he invites you, where are you going to stay? Or if you guys are going to start a life together, where are you going to stay? This man is not settled yet. I remember I had told you in the past that when you are on online dating apps, you start chatting with a guy, you ask him, whom do you live with? So this is not only to white guys or only black guys, any man that you chat to, but... When it comes to a guy that is in a foreign country, let's say he is an African guy, lives in Europe, he is from Mexico, he is from, I don't know, Croatia, but living, let's say, in Germany, please 
ask him whom do you live with in germany <laughs> so that you get to know you know what kind of life he is living and you decide whether to continue or not by the response another thing guys i think i talked of this you are chatting with a guy he is from germany but let's say works in italy or he is from italy works in germany don't let that guy introduce to you only one side of his life you really need to know his origin very very well make sure if this guy is from italy works in germany make sure you get to know his family that is in italy and if you happen to visit make sure you visit italy and you visit germany it is very very important so that you can clear everything and stay at peace because if you are going to visit this guy in germany he's from italy <laughs> you haven't seen italy what if in italy there is something that is very wrong <laughs> <laughs> maybe he's a criminal and his family doesn't want to do anything with him how will you know <laughs> by insisting you have to go to italy if he tells you no then be like if i don't go to italy then i can't keep on the relationship with you i need to know your origin i have to go see your parents i have to meet you know your sisters not on the phone but if someone introduces you people on the phone that are not even related they're just friends <laughs> part of his games what if when you are on online dating apps guys you need wisdom you need to be very very intelligent it makes me very very sad to see women being taken advantage of marriage is something that is very very important so you marry this guy in your country it shows that you are husband and wife but in his country he is a single guy or in his country he is a married guy <laughs> so what if this ugandan guy based in south africa has another family in uganda abandon the wife there what if hope will never find out because this guy never took hope to his family in uganda imagine guys something that is so so surprising how can you marry someone without seeing his roots you are from the same country or you are from neighboring countries like rwanda please dear ladies i repeat let us not be blinded by the words these men tell us no matter how lonely we are no matter we are so desperate we want someone in our lives but we must shine our eyes <laughs> i'm telling you all this guys because i love you and if i talk of let's say black african men living abroad or let's say men from south america living in america living in uh, canada when someone goes to a foreign country a country that is not his he needs time to settle down like i told you he needs to look for a job or he needs to study and find a very good job he needs to get his documents because without proper documents like let's say he has got a permanent resident permit or a citizenship or a green card will never be able to invite you to that country it will never happen so why waste your time that is why i'm telling you to be very careful on these things if you want to create a very good relationship that will last forever not a relationship that will only remain you know <laughs> an online relationship never be real like meeting in real life i hope with this you have understood and no one is gonna take advantage of you so friends hope suffered a lot in south africa the guy also started to be very aggressive very very toxic and what hope decided to do talk to her friend who was living in australia about the whole situation and the friend was like okay i'm gonna send you money so that you can escape so that period while hope was waiting for the friend to send the money started looking for jobs online every single day could make sure applies for different jobs 
and eventually her friend in australia sent her the money but couldn't send to hope directly it had to pass to her sister in uganda and then the sister sent it to south africa because hope was in south africa and her stay was over at that time was five months pregnant so when she got the money told the guy that i cannot keep on suffering like this remember i left my two kids back at home so i have to go back home i can't continue with this life and yes managed to leave the guy and returned to uganda when she arrived home tells us felt at peace that finally i am back home but at the same time felt like the guy deceived her and used her and that is why guys i have been telling you i told you <laughs> if you go on online dating apps with a plan let's say your plan is to find a white guy stick to that stick to your original plan if your plan is to find a black man on online dating apps stick to that don't be like oh i have seen lots of ladies bella is posting you know interracial couples no i have changed my mind i want to date a white guy or you are there to search for a white man you want an interracial relationship which is not wrong though some people think it's wrong but due to the challenges that you come across with the white guys that you meet there online you'll be like no right now i will take anyone that comes my way even if it is a black man <laughs> but in the past you sweared and you were like better be a nun than getting married to a black african man so you betray yourself change your original plan date a black man no guys don't do that stick to your original plan because we see what happened to hope her original plan was to find a white guy but uh, due to those losers she met online changed her mind gave up and decided to date a ugandan man but was the same same lady who was abandoned with two kids by a ugandan guy was the same same lady who tells us couldn't keep on dating ugandan guys because they wanted to be the second wife and the third wife and the fourth wife so let's learn guys let's learn from this so stayed at home and kept on applying for jobs but god is good the job application that she made when she was in south africa they called her for an interview and went to do her interview was six months pregnant but we thank god she got the job and she really thanks god who gave wisdom while in south africa to apply for jobs and also god gave the courage to leave that man i told you there is no need to remain in a toxic relationship you deserve happiness you deserve peace you deserve to find a man who will treat you like the way you should be treated which is the right way so hope started working and her pregnancy kept on growing eventually it came to an end and got a very cute baby girl who is 18 months now so guys hope kept on working taking care of her three kids and god has been so good so talked to the husband about the divorce but there is still a battle this guy does not want to divorce her and he does not even take care of the kid yes she communicated to him about the divorce and that was the last time they communicated was like he's not going to divorce her but hope is telling us that keep on fighting Till she gets that divorce because a man who does not even take care of her kid a man who doesn't know what he wants in life a man who is irresponsible he lives just like that with no plan no that's not a man that she wants so it's over and she has decided to move on with her life and also tells us after her divorce she is coming back to online dating apps and will stick to her original plan because hope still believes she can find true love still believes can find a man 
who will truly love her and treat her right. Dear Hope, I wish you all the best. Yes, we learn from our mistakes. I know you have learned your lesson. May God guide you. Find that right man as you wish. Thank you so much, girl, for sharing your online dating experience. For sure, I know most ladies, it has been of a help. So be blessed. So dear friends, we have come to an end of our today's video. Thank you so much for watching till now. May God bless you. Please, if you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Comment below what you think about this video. I would like to know. Watch my other videos too. They are super, super good. You will learn a lot from those videos. Please subscribe if you have not subscribed. Join the family and thank you for subscribing. Until next time, guys, I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Ciao, ciao. Mwah.